Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Twitch alerts for your twitch.tv stream. Uh, basically what this is, um, it allows you to set up follower notifications, subscriber notifications, donation notifications, all sorts of notifications that look good and you know clean on your stream. So it's a not long process, but you gotta know the exact steps to take or else it won't work. And there's a few things you gotta do. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I got OBS pulled up here and this little bright green box here is the alert box uh, that's via Twitch alerts. So the first things that you're going to want to do is open up your web browser and then once you're there you're going to want to go to twitchalerts.com go ahead and sign in and link it with your twitch.tv account. You just go in. It's pretty self-explanatory. Follow the steps there. Uh, and then once you do that you're going to want to do something before you even launch the Twitch alert. What you're going to want to do is download the CL CLR browser source plugin. Click on this link here when you're uh, at Twitch alerts uh, the alert box here. You can lose you can use alert box version 2 but I recommend using the original one just because the other one is a little buggy right now but it may not be by the time you're watching this video once you go to the CLR browser plugin page you'll see here what you have to do you're going to want to download this plugin for OBS now this works for Windows not for Mac yet this does not work for Mac if you're running OBS on Mac if you want to learn how to use OBS on Mac I'll link that video down below now depending on if you're using 32-bit or 64-bit I did the 64-bit version because that's what I'm running my OBS but it really doesn't matter it depends on kind of which one you're using so download that by clicking on one of these links it'll download on your computer now in order to find the folder to put this plugin uh, inside of let me show you how to do that go ahead and open your folder to where you can find stuff on your PC and then go to where you see uh, C disk right there and then go to program files 86 or program files if you're using the 32-bit version so we'll click on the 86 version here and then you'll go down to the O where you see OBS and then there'll be a folder that says plugins whatever you just downloaded from the CLR plugin you're going to want to make sure you export the .dll files now one thing that I ran into that a lot of tutorials do not show if you don't have an ex extractor program on your PC go ahead and just Google extractor program there's some good ones out there that way you can extract all these files when you download it and then just plug them right here into your plugin folder I downloaded and, and put the uh, the folder there as well as the .dll files now once you've done that you're going to need to shut down over yeah, so close it out and then reopen it and then once you do that you're going to be able to see when you add a scene so you right click there add a scene you're going to see a new thing that says CLR browser now I'm gonna close out of this one and show you the one that I set up already now when you do a, a CLR browser it basically is going to just pull up a link so what you're going to want to do is copy the link from twitch alerts so go back to twitch alerts where we were just at and then copy this link here so copy this link here that's going to be your Twitch alerts box. Now this is for followers and subscribers and stuff like that. So copy that link, go back over to OBS, paste it in this here, and then once you're done, you can change the width, the height, however you want to do it. That's all up to you, and then hit OK. Now when someone follows you, so we can go ahead and test that by going back over here and then go to test follower alert and then within 30 seconds you're going to see a follower notification come up here on the right. Hopefully it'll be uh, within the next few seconds so I don't have to kill time here. But basically once you test it you'll see a follower alert come up on this screen here and then if you set it up right within OBS via Twitch alerts it'll come up with a transparent background and you're not going to see a whole bunch of other stuff uh, and it won't look janky, it'll look really clean. Uh, when someone follows you or subscribes to you or whatever uh, that may be. So there you go. So as you can see on my stream there, got a little Yoshi. Uh, there's E, whatever, is following me now. That's what it will look like on your stream when someone follows you and you're using the Twitch alert system, okay? Subscriptions are the same way. Donations are the same way. And you can even set up different images and sounds for different things. So for the followers, I got this information here. So for follower alerts, you can change the text. You can, you know, change it to a different type of text. You can even change the diff the text, the default text to say this person's following me or something crazy like that. You can even disable it. You can change the image by going to their gallery, choosing from the list of images that they have here. You can go to subscription alerts, change those, go to donation alerts, hosting alerts. You can do all kinds of stuff here within the Twitch alert system. Again, you got to link your twitch.tv account in order to do all of this first so make sure you do that because you may be wondering why isn't it working and that may be why it's not working now basically as you see here I have this little window up here 
And basically how I got that window, I just went over here and went to launch. So right next to that link that you copied, just click that launch button right there. And then you're going to see this green, bright green box, which is default. It makes it easier that way. Uh, it's going to come up. You can drag this wherever you want. I believe you could even minimize it, actually. I just leave it up because it really doesn't matter to me. Uh, and then just make sure it's positioned in the right uh, place here under your sources so it'll show up when someone follows. And basically that's it. So step one, link your Twitch account with Twitch Alerts. Step two, you're going to want to download the CLR Browser plugin. So you can right click here, add, and go to CLR Browser, and you can add a different type of source. And then once you've done that, go in, edit your Twitch Alerts, copy that link, put it right there under the Twitch Alerts uh, thing here, right in this link, and you are good to go. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it didn't, or if you have any questions, put those in the comment box below. I'm normally pretty good about answering questions as quickly as I possibly can. Don't forget to follow me over on Twitch. I don't do much over there, but sometimes I do. You can hang out, play games with me, uh, twitch.tv slash technology guru. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos as it does help me out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like button, share it with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next one.